I want to go through this linear programming problem utilizing Mac OS. The previous one I, I went through to give you an example uh, over this uh, uh, statistical concept of linear programming in, in a Windows environment. This time, as indicated, I want to go through uh, in, a, in a Mac environment. Now, I will forewarn those of you that are in a Mac environment uh, that it's not as robust, it's not as user-friendly as utilizing this particular software uh, for linear programming uh, in a PC environment. It's, it's, um, it has its own idiosyncrasies, let me put it that way, in the Mac OS I. So as I, as I go through this, you may, you may see it, but I'm just uh, doing this because I know those of you out there uh, do, have, uh, do have a Mac. Uh, I use a Mac all the time, but of course uh, I go back and forth between uh, a Mac and, uh, and a PC. So let's, let's go through this. Um, as given, uh, I'm going to use that example that you have uh, uh, in front of you. And from the standpoint of the previous uh, uh, video, as indicated, in other words, when we're dealing with linear programming, <clears throat> our objective function is one of two things, maximize profits or minimize costs. So the first thing when you read a problem, you have to be able to say, well, what, do we want to, what, what do we want to accomplish? Profits or we, do we want to minimize expenses? And, and the second thing is, okay, we have constraints. How many constraints do we have? So what I tell my students is that, in other words, as you read a problem, you write down, before you even get into the software, you write down what the objective function is, and then you write out your constraints, i.e. the equations for your constraints. And once you have done that, then you can go ahead and you can utilize the software to solve what the optimal output solution happens to be. So I just want to reiterate that from, from my previous video. So in this case, as you can see, um, as indicated, I'm in a Mac, and uh, I'm already in Excel QM. Uh, so really what I'm coming over here, and I'm just uh, looking for my linear programming, and up comes my uh, little drop-down menu, and... It's just asking me, uh, as previously, how many constraints I have. So in this particular problem, uh, I have two constraints, right? I have a number of hours allocated to assembly one and number of hours for assembly two. And enter the number of variables. Well, I have two variables, right? In other words, I'm looking at product one and I'm looking at product two. And over here... It's asking me for my function, or I should say my objective, and of course, it's about profits again. So we want to maximize profits, uh, and I think everything's okay, so we come up uh, okay. And we get this little, we get this little menu. Uh, let me come up, uh, maybe I can zoom out a little bit more. Let me go to 125. <clears throat> okay, so... It looks familiar, right? It looks familiar from the standpoint of the previous video when I went through on a PC environment. So here I have X1, and I'm just going to change that real quickly to uh, product 1 over here to uh, uh, product uh, 2. My maximization, as indicated in that profit, uh, 6. And what do we have? Four. So as indicated, in other words, this is telling me that for each unit of product one I sell, I'm going to make $6 in net profits, and then for two, $4 in net profits. Uh, constraint one, let's just change uh, that to uh, assembly one. Got a little... <clears throat> And assembly two. As indicated, now I'm ready. As I at, to be redundant, I told you in the beginning when you read a problem, write out what the objective function is. Well, the objective function was okay. 
uh, $6 in product one plus $4 in product two. My constraints for assembly one and assembly two. So in this particular uh, problem I'm going through, it said that we are able to allocate for assembly one or line one, uh, 100 hours. So that's the most I have, less than. So in for assembly line two, I'm able to allocate a total of 42 hours. Right? That's my constraint. I'm limited to 100 hours for one, 42 hours for two. So then I'm going back and it's telling me that now, uh, for each product, it's going to take 10 hours of assembly one and 10 hours of assembly two. And then for assembly two, it's going to take seven hours, the problem states, in regard to one. And it's going to take three for uh, assembly two. So therefore, just like previously, um, when we did this, uh, when, I should say, when I utilized uh, that previous video in a PC environment, I have identified, okay, my maximization or my objective function is to maximize profits. Uh, I've indicated my constraints, one and two, assembly one, assembly two. Uh, it's going to take 10 hours and for one, 10 hours for two, uh, seven hours, uh, assembly two for one, and then three for product two. And then the number of hours that I'm able to find, allocate uh, uh, for this particular uh, process. So there you have it. Now, in the Mac environment, right, um, as opposed to the PC environment, whereby in a PC environment, I just went up and solved it, right? Well, we don't have that. So here, you have to have that solver added in. I've already done that, so I'm going to go to Tools, and you can see Solver. So just hit Solver, and we get another drop-down menu. And it's just asking us what to do. And it's going to say solve. And it's going to get another drop down venue. Keep solver solution, yes. And it's going to give you several reports for the time being. Let's just keep the solver solution. And one goes OK. And up pops the results. So, what this is telling us, the optimal output solution whereby we will maximize our profits, that output will be to produce three product ones and seven product twos, and our profits will be 46. So this is the only output solution given these constraints and given the profits for product one, product two, whereby we will make the most money. And that's the kind of the beauty of linear uh, uh, programming. And as I mentioned previously, linear programming is nothing more than solving equations simultaneously. And the beauty here with the software is that, oh, guess what? We don't have to solve them individually. We'll let the software do it. Uh, saying that, uh, as indicated, I just wanted to point out that uh, uh, it's not quite as user-friendly utilizing um, this software, I should say the QM, uh, in a Mac environment. It's a little bit more cumbersome uh, as opposed to the PC, but that's how uh, one would do it if one is in a, in, in a Mac environment.